All right, we are back with more Dragon Age Origins Awakening. Looks like my C-3PO arms have been cured. My character is able to move normally again, so I'm happy about that. Whatever animation bug that was is fixed. So we already talked to the guard, Gap, and let's to talk business, to then. this guy. Well, I sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Olesian wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Well, we will have to go look into that, I suppose. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. You did, but not to me. The wardens keep their own counsel. Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> yeah, that's probably not good. That's the only thing though. that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? Uh, nope. That is that is more than enough. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden of She White sounds House. just like the Queen. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Wolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. Alrighty. A short-term oh, thinker sees only immediate financial loss. But without essential supplies, we can expect mass starvation and anarchy. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. Um, okay, whatever. The Fereldons are a proud people. They are proud of you, especially. Had the First Warden Aww, sent shucks. foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. About the Arling, he does not. But about the implications, a great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself uncovered at Soldier's Peak. A ah, great personal risk. I remember risk. that. We are now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that Wardens are important, blight or no. Very well, Commander. All right. I suppose we can probably head outside and there's a lot of stuff. I suppose we can probably head outside and actually just start dealing with some stuff here. I still didn't deal with my freaking inventory though. That was dumb. Probably should have dealt with my inventory. You got anything to say here? What? Nope. Charming fellow he is. Should we get Yeah, let's get, get a move on. on. Let's go get a move on, I say. Well, gee, I wonder who I'll bring yes. with me. Uh -huh. I wonder indeed. When I go out here, I'm going to check to see if I have any better equipment for them. I will take a moment to do that, but I really need to do some inventory management stuff. My inventory is all in chaos because of... Uh... Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took her all talk wardens first. to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Just give me a moment. Alright, what do we got here? Yeah, we'll accept whatever. I accept everything. We'll find all that stuff out and about. Wow, Anders, that seemed really unnecessary.
these guys ah, again. Warden Commander, I represent Master Wade, the finest. And bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> finest armorer in Denerum. <laughs> I thought, well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. My one glittering moment. The highlight of my career. And now I'm stuck at Turnip Keep. Vigil's hey. keep. Vigil! Sorry, Warden Commander. You know how he gets. Putting down my keep. This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh! <laughs> Providing arms and armor for common soldiers' oh, the indignity. If we are going to be so dreadfully plebeian, I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. Silverite, Viridium, or are we back to bronze weapons, stone clubs? What a jerk, Reed man. has uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. All right, we will keep an eye oh, out for that. Of course. Um, there's a lot of crap here. I don't even know what I want. Probably want to unload some of this stuff, but you know what? I don't really. I really don't know. We'll let it be for now. I'll sort through that in my own time. I have to compare everything. Holy crap, there's just quest markers like left and right around here. Four, five. You're quite the dirty little mage. I do my best. Still, I'm no ale swilling mountain of belches like you. And I'm no winking slack jawed coward like you. <laughs> True, wow. we should form a club. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. Calm down, man. You're too kind. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours, but I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. Hmm. We'll give him the money. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Ha! Ah. We'll definitely give him the money. What is this? Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Sure, but Andraste was a real person once. Before she up and married the Maker, I mean. What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil? The Magisters, yes. But a mage is to be held responsible for what they did forever? It yep. seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker. But the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. That's so sweet of you. I'm all a tingle. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. Thanks, Anders. I don't mean Sergeant to alarm you, Commander, here. but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Let's do it. Straight away, sir. Why the heck not? No time like the present. Definitely could, could stand to kill some more dark spawn, I think. 
Here we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. 